How you doing? Marcus Conti here, former sanitation enforcement agent. Want to do a quick um, going through the trove of recordings that I have. Now I know most of these videos are for they're very they're very um, insider kind of uh, kind of information, DSNY insider kind of information, and a lot of people listening to it may not know exactly what's going on. But <clears throat> for example, and a lot of it is very subtle. Very, a lot of a lot of the setup that I'm trying to expose is very subtle. <clears throat> For example, in the recording that you're going to hear right now, you're going to hear you're going to hear me being called into the office, right? This is at the end of the day. This is when it all happens. I'm being called not very politely, not, you know, not a big deal. I'm getting called into the office, right? And you're going to hear the setup. You're going to hear um, you're going to hear the lieutenant ask lieutenant her name is Torado. You're gonna to have you're gonna have Torado ask Sergeant Hampton. There's three people in the room. There's Sergeant Hampton. There's Torado, and then there's Fleetwood. And you're gonna have you're gonna to have Torado, who's the lieutenant, ask the the sergeant, who is Hampton, to hand me or hand Fleetwood the documents that they're about to serve me. All right, so. Long story short, the two write-ups that they're about to try to pin on me, this is called pin the tail on Conti. Right? They're trying to get two situations that basically never happened, and they're trying to get what's called a, a 997 write-up and a 229, two, two, or I don't know, 249, whatever they're called. Right? So there's, there's these two things that you're going to hear them do. And you'll hear... Um, Basically, you'll hear fleet. Uh, you'll hear Lieutenant um, Torado leading the charge. Now, she had nothing to do with any of these write-ups. But what they're trying to do is, you have to listen closely, and you might have to turn the volume up on this one because I didn't. I don't mess around with the 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 way the thing was recorded. It's recorded with a field recorder in my pocket. So, but you'll hear um, you'll hear Fleetwood describe the first charge, which is. She followed me to a location or, or after a location. It's not really clear. And then she said that two of the tickets I wrote, there was no violations there. Right? That's, what, that's the play. So she's trying to say that th those are both punishable by misdemeanors, by the way. That's a misdemeanor charge, right? But they blow it off as like, oh, it's just, you know, me a mess in details. What they're trying to do is they're trying to make you say you did it or confuse, something like that. But here you have, like, there's, there, there, there's, nothing, there's nothing there. So you'll hear Fleetwood um, describe these two things and then say that, that uh, you know, oh, oh, we can't serve you because the lieutenant... Amiskita is leading this whole thing. Again, Amiskita uh, is the direct under person under Pascal, who is the lead antagonist. So Pascal is driving this whole thing because Amiskita and Toronto are both lieutenants. They're technically in competition with each other. This is all for a better job. It's some kind of pat on the back, some kind of promotion. The object is to catch Conti doing something even if you have to make it up. So you have Lieutenant Abasquita, you have Lieutenant Torado leading the charge, and you have you hear her say, who told you to, to flee with? Who told you to serve Conti this stuff? And and she says, Peppy? Now, Peppy's still there, so this is this has to have been going on in in like September. Because he got he got canned. Peppy was canned. Well they say quote retired right so Pepe's I, I don't know I guess he's still there at that point but so then so that's the first charge that Conti wrote two fake tickets then it, it progresses to the second one which is allegedly I was in a uh, it, it sounded like they were trying to say that I was in some kind of car accident of a car 030 and that the fender fell off right, <laughs> right? so they're trying to say I, I basically smashed a car and didn't report it. But there's, and this happened, we're, in, we're already in September, and they're saying this was back in August 11th. So now how does, now the car that they're, they're, 
the car that they're talking about is a car that's it looks like it came out of one of those um, you know demolition derbies. There's there's a million dents in this car. It's 030. Right? I won't say the agent that usually uses it, but there's there's this there was this one particular car that was such a mess. Like the the front end was hanging on with a bungee cord and it was dense and rust all over this car and then and now they're trying to say that I did it <laughs> they're trying to get they're trying to get on paper that I took this car out a month ago and I ripped the thing apart I knocked the knocked the front end off right so obviously you know you could hear that I'm I'm hearing all this for the first time right I don't know what the hell they're talking about really you know and so um and so that's how it ended. These two write-ups never saw saw the light of day. But these were two hit pieces that were, you know, it's kind of like the batter on deck. You know, they're just they're just swinging at anything at this point to to, and it's all very nice. You know, there's no there's no screaming. That's that's the whole that's the very subtle part of it because it's all it's it's all so friendly. It's all so nice. Oh, we just. You know, and and but what they're doing is they're, they're trying to serve you legal documents that that say a you committed two misdemeanors by writing fake tickets, which I never did, which is that that allegation is ridiculous. Or I I smashed a car, which is reckless driving. How else do you smash a car? How do you knock the fender off a car unless you're driving it? So that's pretty heavy stuff. So you be the judge. Uh, I. You know the recording is going to follow. There's other stuff too, just as uh, you know. There's a lot of other stuff that I I have and I'm going to uh, release as the time time evolves. The stuff that I don't want to really release and I don't want to really incriminate people. There's a lot of stuff of you guys talking about the 206 book and the the um, you know the 144s. There's you know I have situations where we're talking about you know the corruption with inside the department and you guys name names and you know just. What could I say? Get in front of the story. I have to do what I have to do, <laughs> because you know you guys are you, got, you know you guys are a bunch of liars. So this is what hap has to happen. Okay. Mind to keep? Yeah. Um, the nine on seven on two. Oh, yeah. You can separate. You can take two pieces. Are you sure you don't need nothing from the corner? What's this all about? Yeah. Well, you. you I'll you give it a read. Get copies. Yeah. Because yeah. oh, yeah. okay. well, you can, with the two four nines, you can refuse to sign it and get a copy. Or review, or sign it and get a copy. Oh. Did you get a copy? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not signing anything. I'll take copy. Yeah. Okay. 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 Oh, no. Yeah, you can read that. Take it. Take it. Read it. Just give it back. Okay. Since Anastina has it signed here. Yeah, you can. So, uh, 
Who told you to give it to him? Peppy? No, he can't be served. You can't give him no copies at all. They're going to try, Conti, I'm sorry. They're going to try and give you your copies once the supervisor signs. What, what is this about? What, Let me see. What is this? Let me see. I need to read it. It's total bullshit. There was no garbage as soon as the above address. Three forty nine. He says I'm gonna turn ticket was incorrect, therefore you are. Do you have a copy of the ticket? No. No, no, not you. Yes, not you. Okay, copy the ticket. And you did a backtrack on this? Yes. Yeah, let me see the backtrack. And a copy of the ticket when you get it done. Today? No, no. no. August eleventh. So what's the implication here that I have? Uh, wrong details. Oh. Yeah, that or incomplete. Do I, do I need to, are you going to get the copies of any of this? Yeah, and I'll hand it off to my, my attorneys. Yeah, or, or, uh, so, thank you. 